Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, we will be discussing about merge sort for linked lists for W linked list and how to perform order of n comparisons in the best case. Okay, and this will be our sequel to this pre previous video where we discussed about uh, merge sort and how it is implemented. So let's get started for today's video. So here you can see that uh, uh, we are first discussing about merge sort for linked lists. So before moving on, I will strongly re recommend you that you check out first what linked list is and what W linked list is. But I will somewhat tell you in brief what it is. So as we know that uh, linked list or generally which is called singly linked list is a linear data structure where then we have nodes that are uh, present in the memory at random location, uh, random addresses and unlike array they are not in a continuous fashion so in as we know that in array we have a continuous memory allocations for the data to be stored in the memory but in this case we don't have that one and we have we can show uh, in a uh, diagrammatic way like this let's say we we have a node which has a data value present and it has another portion for the address of the next uh, node similarly like this it is a chain kind of thing and the we have two point uh, we have a pointer head which always points to the first uh, position of the node until uh, the last one and the last uh, address is always null and we cannot uh, we cannot actually traverse back and forth and we can only go into one direction that is to the from starting to end so that's why we are uh, it uh, for traversing and getting a random access to an element is not possible in in a order of one uh, time complexity in singly linked list hence the algorithms such as quick sort and heap sorts are then are performing always poorly in this case for the linked list hence we actually use merge sort to sort the linked list so let's see the pseudocode of merge sort so in the linked list if the head is null then there we know that there is only one element in the linked list hence we return that node itself else we divide it uh, divide the linked list into two parts which uh, for which we will be having a a pointer pointing to the first uh, half of the linked list and b pointing to the second half of the linked list and we are also giving the head pointer as well for the main linked list so after that we will sort the two halves a and b but for that we have to split them so we will split the first half up to the point <coughs> where only a single node is remaining and uh, we will also do the same case with the second half okay after that uh, we will just uh, merge the two halves while sorting them okay so you can just see the two main parts of this algorithm how it is implemented so the first part uh, in the pseudocode is same as this one after that uh, here just we compare if head is null or and if the next there is next not not present then we will just return and uh, we will then split it for splitting we will just uh, have two pointers pointing to the first half and the second half of the linked list starting of the first half and the second half and uh, in this one we will just uh, like split until we have a single node for each case and uh, after that we will sort the uh, like merge these two halves while sorting okay so in sorted merge this can be actually first understood uh, we have to first understood how two sorted linked list can be merged for this you can see this uh, page so in this actually what they have done is uh, this diagram will 
make you understand a little more clearly so let's say we have two linked lists 5 10 15 and 2 3 20 these both are actually sorted and we have to merge them so we will be having two pointers pointing to the starting of the of these two linked lists and we will be having a dummy or temporary uh, node that we will be converting that actually is a singly linked list and we will be actually increasing its size so first of all we will compare these two elements and whichever is less we will be actually attaching this to this uh, temporary node and uh, so here we know that 2 is less than 5 so 2 will be done here and we will increase the lesser uh, link list uh, pointer to the next node so now we will be pointing to 3 which is shown here now we will compare 3 and 5 so 3 is less than 5 so we will attach the th this 3 to 2 so like this will actually be like forming a chain kind of thing so in the next step uh, we will compare uh, b will be 20 so we will compare 5 and 20 and as 5 is less than 20 so we will attach 5 to this 3 and uh, the a pointer will be increased to the next node hence a pointer is now pointing to 10 and b is pointing to 20 hence uh, we will attach uh, the temporary link list will be shown here and uh, the pointer positions are here similarly it will check for 10 and 20 and 10 is less so it will be attached to 5 but uh, actually they forgot to mention the fifth node the 5 data value node here so ignore that one but understand the meaning of the algorithm how it is working so now we will compare 15 and 20 so 15 is less than 20 so we will attach 15 to 10 and at last we will uh, as 20 is the last node remaining here so we'll just point the uh, address in the 15th node for the next node to this 20th one hence um, the at last our temporary link list will be actually sorted so similar kind of thing is done here we are checking for the first uh, data at, and the second data for those splitted um, what we can say is link the main link list which was split in two halves so in this case a will be now the result and uh, the result is actually a point um, the node address so for you or you can say a node that is actually having null so uh, result will be for the result next we will be actually calling this function recursively again by giving the next address and the uh, head of the next node and if this is not the case we will just replace a by b and just a like we will be giving only head of a and the pointer to the next uh, so like actually the b pointer is increased to the next as we discussed here whenever whenever the comparison is done and it is attached here so at last we will be returning the result uh, temporary this result is that temporary link list here the dummy one here so yeah this, in this case we will be getting a sorted link list and this uh, merge sort actually takes order of n log n time complexity as we know and uh, space complexity is also similar n log n now coming to the w link list so in first of all let me explain what w link list is so it is similar to the single link list but the thing is that in the the drawback of the the single link list is actually covered in this one so resolved in this one so as in the single link list we could only travel in the one direction only but uh, in w link list what we have is we have a one more section in the node which actually points to the previous node so by this so by this we can actually move to backward uh, like forward and backward as well so in this case the main thing that is actually changed for merge sort is only these lines see this second 
to next and this one the first next and null so in this case uh, the next uh, uh, the node for the the next node is actually first called to split and we will just uh, um, loop back the address of the next node for the first one so here let's say 8 uh, we are giving the position of 8 but also in the same time we are actually pointing it to the previous node as well so connecting it and uh, uh, the first node of the previous so the previous node there is no previous node in this tense so we will be pointing it to null like this one ok so this is done for each and every case while we traverse and check whether the first data is less than second data or not if it is then we do this otherwise we go to this part the else part like this we do the sorting in double link list and it also actually um, works in order of n log n and uh, in this space complexity is order of 1 that is better than the singly linked list and uh, now let's say we have to compare uh, the comparison here is for each and every node see here um, this one so for this thing to overcome we can actually reduce this comparison to order of n so for this we have to just check one more thing here which is given here see whenever we have the last uh, one node remaining after splitting so we will just check whether the present node is greater than the next node or not if it is then only we will actually call the merge sort because the linked list is not ascendingly sorted so in this case we actually reduce the comparisons because we for the middle element lesser than array the next element in the linked list uh, we do not want to merge like actually sort them so that's why we just uh, actually merge them but in that case the comparison is le lessened that's why order of n comparisons is remaining and for this one we can actually write its recurrence this function's recurrence relation as shown here see t2 and uh, this can be tn this one is tn this one is tn and uh, this one the comparison is taking order of 1 so 2 tn when we add these all so we will get 2 tn plus uh, tn by 2 plus 1 so you can see here see um, this one tn equals to 2 tn by 2 plus 1 and uh, using the master's theorem we can see that the or uh, like the comparison we will be having is only of order of n so the for the best case performance only so like this we can actually reduce the comparisons and for the best case and time complexity as well and you can read this yourself as well but I also recommend you to first go through the singly linked list and doubly linked list and uh, till the next video thank you guys and keep watching and keep learning